Hi everyone, um, my name is Emily and I'm going to be presenting this week's flashcard on sickle cell disease. So sickle cell disease is a group of inherited blood disorders that involves the formation of abnormal hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein in the red blood cell and it's responsible for carrying oxygen throughout the body. The abnormal hemoglobin in sickle cell disease, called hemoglobin S, causes the red blood cell to sickle and form a crescent or a C-shape when deoxygenated. The sickling shape causes several complications. First, hemoglobin S cells can get stuck in blood vessels and block blood flow due to their shape and their stiffness. This blockage is the, common co uh, is the cause of a common sign of sickle cell disease called a vasoocclusive crisis, which leads to severe pain in the affected area, such as the leg, due to a lack of blood flow. Also, these cells die much quicker in about 20 days compared to the normal red blood cell, which has a lifespan of 120 days. And this shorter lifespan causes anemia. The types of sickle cell disease depend on the genes inherited from one's parents. So the most severe form of sickle cell disease is hemoglobin SS, which is also called sickle cell anemia and it occurs when the individual inherits one sickle cell gene S from each parent. If an individual inherits a sickle cell gene from one parent and a normal gene from the other parent, they are said to have the sickle cell trait. These individuals will not have signs or symptoms of sickle cell disease, but can pass the gene to their children. Um, because this is a recessive disorder, a family history of sickle cell disease is the most common risk factor. Sickle cell disease is most common among African Americans. Approximately 1 in 13 African American babies have the sickle cell trait. Um, during a vasoocclusive crisis, the primary sign is pain. This is common in legs and feet and may be accompanied by swelling. Other signs and symptoms of sickle cell disease include anemia, uh, which is characterized by a low H&H on CBC, as well as pallor, weakness, tachycardia and hyperbilirubinemia, um, which is characterized by high bilirubin on labs and jaundice. Sequestration crises, um, which can be indicated by hepatomegaly or splenomegaly. Delayed growth and development and congestive heart failure. Um, infection, acute chest syndrome, and stroke are other complications the patient with sickle cell disease is at risk for due to the occlusion of blood vessels. Acute chest syndrome presents with shortness of breath, cough, fever, and infiltrates on a chest x-ray. And priapism, a prolonged painful erection, can also occur. For diagnostic testing, a routine newborn screening um, or a blood test is the common way uh, that sickle cell disease is diagnosed. And here is an image of um, normal um, flow with red blood cells, um, with normal red blood cells as opposed to blood flow with um, sickle cell blood cells. And you can see there that um, there's a blockage of blood flow. And those are my references. Thank you for listening.